Hello from Deal and Annulus. Uh, we um, are at the tail end of Double XP Weekend here. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and maybe find some Shaman buffs. If not, not, not a big deal. What we're going to do is I got this new ability called Misdirect. Misdirect is great. Um, it's over here, and it says, Tricks your target, reducing their hatred for you, increasing their hatred um, toward uh, its current target foe. So what happens is, say for example, I'm fighting this lady here, right? And Annulus has engaged her. I can hit misdirect and basically reduce my threat. And by the amount of my threat generation, increase Annulus's threat generation, right? So that's the, that's the key phrase in there. It's current target, right? So um, that could be a tank, but it might, but if the current target of um, the mob is uh, not the tank, it'll be whatever the current target is. So you got to be very careful using this misdirection. Uh, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to um, make, um, I'm going to make uh, Strike of the Shizra. Let's go ahead and make, let's make like 60 of these. I'm going to speed up the video. Um, we're going to make Strike of the Shizra. Uh, and we need adorned, adorned, uh, sealed poison vials. So let's make 60 of these. Um, so we need this distilled grade C coracine sample. Um, what else do we need? I'm just going off memory. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make a pretty heavy hitting DPS poison. And with this DPS poison, you don't have to depend on procs. Um, let's see here, uh, strike, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, let's go to the highest level strike. So we need celestial suspension fluid, celestial suspension fluid. We're going to buy 60 of these, and then we're going to buy some 60 emulsifier. Uh, not ECI emulsifier, we're going to get regular emulsifier. Okay, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here and make a whole bunch of uh, Strike of the Shizra. Let's go ahead and activate uh, trophies. Fearless Pestle, activate. Okay, and close that. Boom, boom. Strike. Okay, and let's go ahead and start making them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to here. So I've got, I've got 59. I failed with one. So what we're going to do is we're going to use misdirection and battery or assault. Now battery and assault are great. Um, battery is a level 90. I have battery rank 2 and assault rank 3. Assault um, will trigger aggravated assault. This is a level uh, 85 um, skill. And what it does is um, it's like 6750 damage, increasing the damage you do with melee weapons for a short time. 6780. Right? Not bad. Um, battery, which will proc aggravated battery, uh, does basically the same thing. It's an upgrade, but I think uh, they're they're on the same um, they are on the same um, uh, timer. Um, so you can't conduct a battery and an assault. You either conduct assault and uh, or battery. Um, so I think probably assault rank three is probably superior to battery rank two, but we're going to test that out. So uh, we're going to use misdirect and either battery or assault and strike of the Shizra. Now remember, strike of the Shizra, it just procs a single time, um, and it has no threat generate, uh, no threat reduction from that. So with a consigned bite of the Shizar, which strikes for around 6750, um, and procs and aggro reduction, as well as uh, Pyrelian Burn or uh, Geldrian Lament. These actually 
um, proc for less damage, they proc more often, and they have correspondingly less threat generation, right? So there's a threat reducing component with these uh, fire and cold poisons. There is a threat reducing component with these. These proc less often. The consigned bite of the Shizar proc, proc less often, but they proc for more damage. They have correspondingly more threat reduction, but strike of the Shizra just struck uh, just strike a single time, and they have no threat reduction. And what I've noticed is uh, chain casting strike of the Shizra is um, e uh, that's when rogues have to kind of deal with threat because your DPS becomes too high. But with misdirect, uh, you can kind of um, you can curtail uh, those uh, that th uh, th threat generation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the regular Firat. Um, this is great. Um, it's a great easy way to get to uh, the Dream and get to the House of Thule quickly without having to deal with C and Biz mobs. So anybody that's about to um, where House of Thule is about to launch, this is the this is the way I get here. Um, so this is the old Firat, um, uh, the Uguk Porter uh, portal. Um, so what we'll do is follow, and I'm just going to go to a zone and test this out. I think a um, great zone to test this would probably be um, Erudent's Burning, Killing Rats. It's a double XP weekend, so I'm going to get a good, healthy chunk of experience, and nobody's killing rats. I think there's like one named rat that drops crappy gear, um, but the reason I'm choosing this camp is I'm not going to get any um, competition for this camp whatsoever. Um, I did this in the well a lot and tested it. Uh, I think it's going to require a little bit more testing. But the reason I'm doing this is because with the case of Consigned Bite of the Shizar or Pyralian Burn or Geldrian's, Geldrian's Lament, um, they actually, they some will proc more often, some will proc less often. But at the end of the day, they proc at a random time. Um, you can, we do have this ability called Weapons Affiliation, which will allow them to proc more often, but it has a, a I believe, a 30 second cooldown. I'll go ahead and look that up once I finish zoning. But at the end of the day, you have to depend on a random proc chance. Um, let's look up Weapons Affiliation here. Um, here's Weapons Affiliation uh, 2 and 3. Um, here and here. Um, I might have said 30 seconds. It's actually 1,800 seconds, which is 30 minutes. The recast time is quite long for both the rank 2 and the rank 3. Um, uh, what, uh, it increases a modifier by 280% for the 3 and 250 for the rank 2, so not a lot to differentiate these two. Um, and so it does increase the proc rate, uh, but it only lasts 3 ticks. It doesn't last very long. Um, so I think this would be kind of useful for like a tank and spank type mob where say you're using Valens or Talons tactic poison. So this would be useful on raids. Uh, maybe for like a burn fight if you've tracked down a name um, and you want to just get it killed very quickly. Uh, so this increases the rate at which your, your poisons will proc. So if you're using this out in the field on your own with like a tank merc, I would say probably better to use this uh, with consigned bite of the Shizar, um, and or maybe um, Pyrelian burn or something where you're depending on something to proc. But if you're using Strike of the Shizra, this would be useless um, because Strike of the Shizra is always going to proc. Uh, on raids, I would use this with Valens and Talents Tactic Poison. That's probably what I would do. Okay, back to the video. Okay, there we are. It was actually coming up behind this window. So weapons affiliation is a level 87 um, di melee discipline, and uh, your weapon becomes an extension of your body, greatly increasing the rate at which combat effects will be triggered. So um, I believe poisons are considered combat effects and not spells. Um, so I believe the rate at which they proc will increase um, when you use weapons affiliation. But again, I don't want to have to depend on procs. I want to decide for myself when things proc and when they don't. And so um, we're going to use a Strike of the Shizra, and those pretty much proc immediately. Kind of like the old world poisons. Uh, who's this jerk? Okay. Well, let's just run away from him. Well, I don't need to... Let's go ahead and just... Uh, 
escape out of that. Okay. Unsuspend. Unsuspend. This guy's gonna pay. He's gonna pay for what he did to me by snaring me. This jerk. You can't see me now, can you? <laughs> Alrighty. So you might actually see this in action. Alright. So now. You like that snare, buddy? Let's go ahead and snare you now. Alrighty. He still can't see me. So let's kind of strafe around. Misdirect battery. And strike of the Shizra. Bam. No threat. He might have resisted that. Thirteen. Okay, hit him again. Bam. So that's 26,000. There you go. So he paid. He paid dearly. So let's look at the log here. Um, so I hit him initially for 13,461. And then there's another... Okay, I only hit him for one... I think I just hit him once. Um, you can see I opened up the combat with a 20,000 backstab. Um, let's see if I have any... Did I finish it? Yeah, I also finishing blowed on him for 20,600... Uh, 20,099. Um, so that was not a good example. Let's get the snare off. The snare is annoying. It can't be cured. I guess I wasn't shrouded. All right. Okay, let's just um, stay off the horsey, because I'm going to have to get off of it anyways. Uh, go back into an A camo. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Ariadne's Burning, uh, where nobody is right now. And Ariadne's Burning, um, it's great. Um... It's a great place to get experience. Um, it's a lower tier zone, pretty safe. Uh, the mobs are spaced apart. Um, the rats don't assist each other. It's an outdoor zone, so you can use harmony. Uh, so Annulus is really well equipped here. So here are all the heretics. So there's a named rat named uh, Brutus um, who drops some crap gear. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get a quest um, from the good guy Erudites. So what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, just south. See all these rats? We're going to kill them all. And let's see. There's there's some people in this zone, but I'm pretty much... They're not killing rats. But since it's double XP, each of these rats give me a whole bunch of AA ability. So we're going to find the exterminator. I'm going to look up that quest, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's Exterminator Cedron. We're just going to hail him and say rats and dispose and assist. So the keyword is assist. Basically, um, we go to Aridin's Burning. We get to kill eight dock rats and give their tails back to this guy. Okay, let's get the uh, task on Annulus 2. And I believe you can just repeat it as many times as you like. And there's lots of rats. Um, let's just say assist and just get the quest. All right, and a camo, boom follow okay boom boom okay so let's go ahead and exterminate these rats looks like there's one already dead there all right so they don't assist each other but i kind of like being close to a zone in just in case some like weird name pops up these guys looks like these are camped um and again like he's interested in these um humanoid mobs i'm gonna kill rats um, these ravenous dock rats are placeholders for Brutus. Or actually, is his name Brutus? Yeah, Brutus, that's his name. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to go over here. Nice, safe place. Out of everybody's way. And Annulus is just going to engage this ravenous dock rat, and we'll pull with a snare. And look how easy that is. And Annulus can hit um, Jolting Snap Kicks and basically keep aggro where it should. Deal swings around. And what we're going to do is hit Misdirect. Battery. Strike of the Shizra. Okay, there's one strike. He did not attack. Alright. Hit Deep Size. My Epic Pinpoint. Alright. 
right. Let's strike the shizzer again. See if he face tanks. Nope. There's 26,000. And you see how I'm dicta I'm dictating when this procs, but not not my poison. I'm gonna misdirect again. Misdirect again. Strike the shizzer. Boom. That's uh, what is it? 40,000. 40,000 hit points. Let's see if I finishing blow on him. Annulus isn't even doing anything. Look how lazy he is. 21 AA abilities. Not bad. 21 AA. All right. So let's just kill rats. So let's just keep doing this. And you see how they don't assist each other? It's really safe. Jolt. Hit him with... Um, this fight would have gone faster if... The previous fight would have gone faster if... Um, if um, Annulus would have gotten involved. But he was just lazy. I think the rat resisted that. Yeah, he resisted. And so I only actually needed one proc there. Try it again. There you go. 13,396. Not bad. Um, again, I need two tails here. Okay, so let's loot one of these tails on deal. Yep. And these whiskers sell for a decent amount. So you can see um, you don't have to depend on something else proccing for you. You can determine when you want those to proc. You can just manually um, work your threat reduction. There you go. And, uh, okay, there you go. So I hit, with, hit him with battery and strike the Shizra. And the problem is you run out of strikes of the Shizra. That's the problem. Okay, see, he got a little upset there. You think I only get one of these usages. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, pretty fun. Good stuff. And look, I just got my... I got like 30 AAs from that. Or 30% of an AA bar. So, um... So I think I need two tails. Um, two tails. Boom. Okay. Yep. 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 There's the task update. So now, according to the task, I just need to kill five rats and do the turn in. Um, so, um, so one of the things I was screwing up because um, assault triggers aggravated assault, battery triggers aggravated battery. Which what that does is it makes the mob more susceptible to my weapons attacks. I probably don't want to um, hit Strike of the Shizra immediately. I should probably wait. Um, so I'll show you an example of that. So go ahead and engage this dock rat here. Um, boom. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to snare. And um, okay, let's see here. All right. So what we'll do is. Um, We'll go ahead and jolt this off. Stop attacking. That's fine. All right. And then what we'll do is we'll misdirect assault. So you see I've got 11 seconds. So this is aggravated assault. So it increases the amount of melee you do uh, for a short time. So once that wears off, then hit um, then hit strike the Shizra. Boom. And now you can chain cast to strike the Shizra. So you should probably wait until aggravated assault like wears off. Um, or I think it's called aggravated bloodlust. <laughs> I like aggravated assault more. Um, there we go. I just finishing blowed on on him there. So um, let's check and see if Brutus is up. He's not up yet. But let's just keep killing these ravenous dock rats. Um, I like pulling with snare. Because uh, it doesn't move you, uh, it doesn't move annulus so high on the threat list. Okay, let's try this again. Misdirect battery. So he's ready. Battery right there takes him down 20%. And I can melee him down. Four, three, two, one. Strike of the Shizra. So there is kind of a casting time component there. By this point, um, um, by this point, um, you know, we're thinking about finishing blow once they're less than 10%. 33,686. So, um, yeah, so you just see the power of a rogue here.
um, this is a good way to use them. And it's, it doesn't have, again, it doesn't have to depend on procs. It doesn't have to depend on, um, like, this random element of, well, will your poisons proc or won't they proc? Um, um, you just, you, you get to decide when they proc. So, I mean, I like that level of, um, you know, um, control that you have. And hit him with one strike. Um, it has been that I've, I've hit a mob up to three times, which for just over 40,000 hit points of damage just from poison procs. Um, um, but, you know, I have a backstab for that much, so. Let's go ahead and um, I'm almost done with these rats here. Okay, so I know, like, part of, part of uh, why I'm doing this here is to learn my chops. Where'd he go? You know, I gotta try to learn these new abilities, learn to do them in a safe place. Um, kinda like assault more than battery. Okay, so that was a mistake. You see how this dock rat doesn't aggro on? Okay, let's see here. I need to kill two more. And let's go ahead and just just attack him immediately. Just let's just attack him. <laughs> okay, there's battery. And you see, Annulus hasn't used any of his nukes. And he hasn't used any of his abilities. This is just Deal kind of testing things out. Okay, there's 24. Follow. We don't have Brutus up. He'll, he'll spawn, because uh, it's a Memorial Day weekend. Eventually, Brutus will spawn. Um, so anyways, we're going to work back around. Find Exterminator, give him back the tails. This is just two runs. I'm not going to keep doing this because it gets boring. But um, um, go ahead and give him two more tails. Okay. There's t Actually, I have 26 AAs. Let's go ahead and train Massive Strike. And the next Massive Strike comes with Veil of Alara, so next expansion. So I was able to get all those ranks. And I got a, a achievement, achievement spam. So 3250. That's actually not as good as some of my teammates, uh, some of my uh, guild mates. They have a lot more than Deal does. Um, okay, so this is uh, just uh, I'm just comparing battery rank two to assault rank three. Eventually, I want to get battery rank three. Um, this will uh, come off a of raid drop. Um, assault rank three came out of an underfoot raid drop. And so when you compare battery rank two, um, you backstab for basically 15, 1,598 damage with a 10,000% accuracy mod. So you, you will land this 1,598, basically. Um, then it triggers aggravated battery, uh, which gives you a 72, um, uh, it gives you a damage bonus by 72 with one hand slashing, piercing, and blunt, so all weapons. But it also increases damage bonus by 116 with two hand piercing. So I believe other melee classes will eventually get battery um, at a later time. Um, and when we look at assault, assault gives you uh, more burst DPS. This is the rank three. It gives more burst DPS, 16, uh, uh, 6,750, but there's no accuracy mod. So um, there's no accuracy mod with respect to assault rank three, and it gives us an aggravated assault gives slightly better um, of these damage bonuses. So that's the fundamental difference between those two. Um, so basically, um, I think it's kind of splitting hairs. I think it probably it's better to use the rank three uh, assault with aggravated bloodlust. I think it's probably better to use this for now. Um, 
the only real thing you'd use battery for is this accuracy mod. Just guarantee the chances of it landing. So that's pretty much it.